are currently going to Talakag, I think. Talakag, Bukid nun. Uh, we came from Cagayan de Oro. And one of our like closest friends in Cagayan just invited us to camp out in their farm here in Talakag. So we are on our way. We are just going to hang out, enjoy, and uh, talk about life, I think, because we haven't uh, seen them for a while now. I will update you. I think we are already near, and we are cooking something later. So I'll see you. It's already Lantapan. So, this is their very simple uh, farm setup. They have this wooden house. As you can see, they have an outdoor CR. Their farm, their carrot plantation is just right there. to thank them for inviting us here tonight I am cooking bulalo tonight so I'm also gonna uh, share with you a little bit of the variation or the difference between nilagang baka and bulalo na baka so let's go if you look at the place it is really well built for camping uh, area also it is very very ideal to pitch up your hammocks because as you can see the trees have been planted and been and had been designed to be able so that you will be able to pitch your uh, hammock so later i'm also gonna show you my hammock setup every time i go out camping so but first i'm just gonna start cooking the beef and explain to you what is the difference between Ilagang Baka and Bulalo? If you look at our pot, if you can see it here now, this is beef uh, shank. So, this is what people use to make Bulalo. So, if you say or if you uh, talk about Bulalo, the only factor that is the difference between Ilagang Baka and Bulalo is this one. It's the bone marrow. So, bulalo, the difference between ilagang baka and bulalo is only the bone marrow. So, every time you cook with beef that has bone marrow, you can always call it bulalo. But, if you're only cooking beef that has bones also and meat, this is what they use to uh, make nilagang baka. So you can still you can still see a little bit of meat and there's bones also. So yes, that's the difference between nilagang baka and bulalo. But for tonight, I'm gonna mix both of this, but we will call it bulalo because we already have the bone marrow. I'm just using both of these uh, parts of the beef so I can explain to you what's the difference. First step. On making our bulalo for tonight, uh, look at the view. The clouds just <laughs> opened up. It's very nice. So, uh, first step is we have to wash our meat. As you can see, the water is already clear because I have washed it a couple times already. So, we have to 
put some water until this level before we start boiling this one I think we have to boil it for 2 hours to make it tender and yeah I'm just only gonna put salt so if you can see the level of water now is uh, ideal so we'll start boiling this one so next is I'm boiling or I will boil this for 2 hours and I'm just only gonna mix salt I will just explain why I only use salt because I will still uh, disregard this water later I will just uh, use this water to boil the meat or to make the meat tender uh, the flavors will not be thrown away with the broth because we will still gonna boil it again after and with all the spices so we'll just have to wait for two hours and i'm gonna see you later so while waiting hiking camping and going out doing something outdoors is one of my hobbies so for today i will show you my hammock setup every time we are on this kind of in my environment our hammock setup for tonight I have my rain uh, ply up top while my hammock is also uh, I think like a meter away from the ground we will be safe in case it will rain so if you are thinking why I built a very small or very tight uh, setup because it is very windy so I have to close the front side of my camping area so I it will protect me from the rain and the wind and I also close this one so that the warm air will just stay inside and also if you can see my hammock set up whoa so if you can see this one I have carabiners at the end of my uh, hammock rope the reason for this is the water cannot travel from the rope going to my hammock because it will fall. The water will just fall here because I have my uh, carabiners. So I will be safe from the rain also. I think that's it and we'll just wait for uh, our meat to be tender and we'll start cooking our bulalo. And also, if you can see, the moon has already risen. It's very very nice. Join me later on cooking our bulalo. Our meat is almost tender. We will prepare all our aromatics and our vegetables. So I already changed the water. Uh, as you can see, the broth is clear already. So what we are going to do is prepare our lemongrass Let's add our lemongrass next is our ginger we don't have to peel our ginger anymore I already washed it earlier so we'll, we will just slice it Next is our onion. We will also include this part of the onion leeks. So we will slice this one. This will take away uh, the super gamey uh, flavor of the beef. Also, our bulalo will not be complete without mais or corn. So we'll just slice this one. We'll include this corn in our soup already. So it will be cooked. We will also add 
a taste on our soup a little bit to add more flavor we'll also add our umami bomb we have beef broth cubes and again I think we'll wait for another 20 to 30 minutes for this one to be ready. Our soup is almost done. Filipinos love to dip their viands on like sauce or whatever they want. So we are going to make one of the traditional sasawa ng bulalo. It's only supposedly we need also chilies with this but we don't have chilies right now so we're only gonna use patis and lemon so we'll slice our lemon also because we have some we have extra leeks we will add this one to our sausawan also So, our sausawan is done. Our soup also is almost done. We have to put our cabbage and our pet chai to our soup. We will just cut our pet chai in half. Our bulalo, as you can see, is now ready. So we will try to plate our bulalo and we will taste it after. So our bulalo is finally done. It is very tender now and we have our bone at the center so we are going to eat now as i told you earlier i haven't seen uh, our family friends for the longest time so i'm just gonna finish the vlog here in this kitchen just by saying like thank you so much for watching this episode again and join me on the next Jandis Kitchen. I don't know where, but I will see you soon. Peace and love.